welcome back to the ADHD Friendly Podcast. I'm Patty Blinderman. I'm an ADHD coach, and this podcast is all about things that are ADHD friendly. I look for things to share, and I share them here in the hopes that they make your life a bit more ADHD friendly. Today is episode 30, and this is the episode where I'm going to be sharing my new website, ADHDfriendly.com. I'm going to talk about how I went from an idea in my head to the realization of that idea in my new website. So I'm going to start by sharing it was not a simple process. Designing a website is so many steps. And when you think about executive function skills, it requires that conductor of your brain to be bringing them in at the right times, quieting them down when they need to be, ramping them up when they need to be ramped up so that everything's coming together to produce the outcome that you're looking for. And that's really, you know, executive functions for everything we're trying to do in our lives to reach any of our goals. I've designed my website before. I know it's a lot of work. So I've been thinking about doing this redesign of my website for more than two years. And I've stopped moving beyond thinking about it or you know, kind of writing down some ideas in a folder because I would get overwhelmed thinking about how much work it was gonna be and how many decisions I would need to make. And I just wanna share, I'm really excited to share my new website with you and I'm super proud of it, but it, It's the result of a lot of start and stops. It's the result of multiple periods of being overwhelmed and shut down during the process. Tech challenges are one of my triggers and there were definitely a lot of tech challenges around this, but I found my way through with multiple strategies and tools. And I'm just here to highlight some of them as I share my success of the outcome of my new site. So I'm going to share my screen. If you are listening to this podcast, this is going to be a very heavy visual episode. So I invite you to check it out at my YouTube channel, ADHD Friendly Podcast. So let's jump in. First, before I actually show you my website itself, I'm going to, I'm going to show you the idea that I had in my brain that I just put into a visual that I could share with my web designer So they had some idea of what I was thinking of. And this actually stopped me from starting for quite a while because I have, I always say my my drawing skills ended when I was five. They have not developed beyond that age. But I got out of my discomfort with that and just drew it out. So this is a picture of my concept, my homepage. I wanted it to be a roadmap. And I wanted to have a new sparkly logo. I wanted it to be just a picture, not a lot of words. So it would have that ADHD friendly ease to navigate. And I wanted there to be stops along the way that would just be little pictures that you could click on. So it was interactive and go to that information if you were interested. And then I wanted to have, you know, a little like, if you want to sign up to receive my freebie or my newsletter, everything just, you know, really clear and easy. So this was the concept. Let me show you how it went from the idea of a roadmap to my new website. I hope this is the right page I'm sharing. Yes, okay, there it is. So it went from, I'm still here in the corner, I'm sharing my screen, but my little roadmap, you can see my roadmap. And everything on my homepage is clickable. So if you're interested in one of the areas, you just click on it. I love the the fun and play that this represents. I find it very sparkly. I love the bright colors. I love the, the interactive part of it, the ease that the, the clicking of the different pictures allows for in navigation. I love that there's not a lot of words to clutter it up, to create that mental clutter. And I'm just gonna scroll down and share you. That's it, that's the whole page. You can sign up for a free mini palm 
and get my newsletters and free tools, everything navigates from the homepage. Now, again, this, this was just an idea that I had and I had to find the right fit for how to turn my idea into reality. And part of that was having someone that has the technical expertise to turn this into what it is. And that person needed another person on their team to create this visual graphic. And she had a real strong sense of fun and play because the little trees are very whimsical. She added those. The cows in the field, which are really my absolute favorite thing. I love the cows. I haven't named them yet, but I'm going to because I just love them. And the one that's looking up just looks like it was startled from the fireworks going off from the excited, exciting ADHD resources box. It's like, what? what was that? I just love that it, the other ones are still kind of eating and, and oblivious to what's going on in that one. You know, it was kind of startled. And it just, again, it creates that sense of fun and play and, and interest to hopefully engage with people visiting my site. And that's what I was going for. And again, my site name, as you can see, is ADHD friendly.com, A-D-H-D, friendly.com. Very easy to remember, very easy to navigate. If you have a chance to check it out, I invite you to do that and let me know what you think. Open to feedback. I'm gonna stop sharing so that I can be full screen again, because I also wanna share, I talked about, you know, there were, there were parts that were really overwhelming and shut me down. And after I, I sketched out my homepage, I did sketches for every page. So I shared how I wanted my about me page to look. And again, you can see there's me, I drew me. That's my five-year-old drawing skills on display. But I, I was like, I want my information in little boxes. So it's easy to pick out what it is. You don't have to read a bunch of information. I find all of that very fatiguing. So I noticed what I liked or didn't like about websites I visit. And I intentionally brought that into my site. And to keep track of all of this, I ended up, you know, I, if you listen to my podcast, I love a spread, spreadsheet. I made a spreadsheet of all of the different tasks and who was responsible for the action to help me keep up with it. And it would become overwhelming visually because there's so many tasks on it that I had to print it out a number of times until I got to my completed one yesterday, except for some of the, my, my shop items aren't in the store yet, but I'm um, getting out of perfectionism and letting that part go because everything else on the site works. And that's a little bit of a, a tech um, rabbit hole that I've gone down a number of times and haven't solved yet, then I'll get there. Just not expecting myself to solve every single problem before I launch it because that's not going to serve me to be able to continue moving forward with what I'm working on to serve those who are looking to make their lives a little bit more ADHD friendly like I am. One other thing I want to share that really worked for me that's new, the person that designed my website is the same web designer I've used for my previous two sites. And something that she does differently this time from the last time that she designed my site that I just found so ADHD friendly was she makes little videos of different steps to show me how to do something. So if there was a tech challenge and I would reach out and say, oh my gosh, I don't know how to do this. She would take a video of herself doing it where she would share her screen while she was doing it. And she would video my site and taking me through the process step-by-step step so I could play the video when I had time and pause it and replay it and follow along while I did the steps that I needed to do for my end of an item on my checklist that I needed to get taken care of. And the beauty of that is I was able to create a folder of the videos that she created over the last four months that we've been doing the site. So now I can go back and watch them again if I need to add something else to my site so I remember how to do it if it's something I can do myself. Um, so I just loved the visual ease that that created for me to be able to do something that technologically was overwhelming without it. So a good fit in designers, a clear sense of where I'm starting and what I'm trying to get to, a checklist and a spreadsheet so that I could see what I needed to do and what was next and it, what was done and what still needed to be done. And then the sparkly finish of the completed website. I hope you'll check it out and poke around a little bit and see what, what you like. If it's ADHD friendly, if it's not, let me know. I wanna, I wanna really 
continue to improve it. So it's always keeping that priority in mind of being ADHD friendly for me and for my visitors. So that's it for this episode of the ADHD friendly podcast. As with all of my episodes, I hope you'll let me know if there's something that didn't resonate for you. But if you did like this, please share it with someone else and follow me on the ADHD friendly podcast. Subscribe on my YouTube channel. And until next time, tally ho. Thank you.